So recently, I set myself a challenge. Could I create a new source of passive income in just six months by starting a new store on Etsy that took basic clip art from Canva and then sold it onto print-on-demand products? Lots of people told me, it's not possible, Sarah. They said that Etsy is too saturated now to make money with a new store. So I put it to the test. Four months ago, I quietly posted this video showing I had started a brand new store in my spare time. Back then, I was making about $200 a week. But, well, the sales just kept growing and now it is earning $3,000 to $4,000 a week passively. And the products I sell in it are honestly super simple. Firstly, I use the cross idea formula to choose basic clip art from Canva that will be easy to sell. And then I just upload it onto print on demand products and then list them for sale on Etsy for a profit. So let me show you the process. First up, you need to choose a popular product to sell. Yes, as basic as this sounds, if you want to make money, you have to actually sell a product that people want to buy. And so here's how to find one. First, come to a print on demand app like Printify. Printify is a website that has tons of blank products that you can resell. You just pick one and upload a picture onto it. Then you can sell it for a market price on a marketplace like Etsy. And each time that somebody buys it, Printify's print shop will print your picture onto the product, package it up and ship it out to the customer while you keep the difference as profit. I love it because it's super passive. I just have to put the product up on Etsy and that's pretty much it. So to find Printify's money making products, just open up their best sellers page. These products here are all super popular and they're in high demand with customers. So you can pick pretty much any of these products to sell. T-shirts are, however, the number one top selling print on demand product of all time. So I will be using this as my example product for this video. So now that we've got a super popular product to sell, we need to use the cross idea formula to find unsaturated product ideas. So here is how I did it. First, I just came to Etsy and did a search for a generic phrase like funny t-shirts. On Etsy, when you search for products, the algorithm will prioritize showing you products that customers have bought recently. And so you just wanna search through these and find a popular product that uses simple graphics. And don't worry, popular products are very easy to spot because when you open up the listing, Etsy will absolutely tell you if a product is popular. Take for example, this t-shirt featuring simple graphics. It's had 37 sales in the past 24 hours. Now, I've got to be honest, I absolutely love animals and so I eat a mostly vegan diet. However, even I can see that this t-shirt idea is funny and clever. It's an example of a double entendre with the picture of the deer having a double meaning. Plus, it's also a good example of deadpan humor. Now, here is the exact point that most people who are trying to make money online go wrong and why they seem to think that it's impossible to make money. It's because they do this. They copy. Look how many people on Etsy have copied this exact same t-shirt. Now, you just think about it, right? If you're opening a brand new store on Etsy, copying another popular t-shirt is a really dumb idea. Because look how many reviews this store has had. Now, if I asked you, would you like to buy a t-shirt from a store that's got thousands of positive reviews or buy that same t-shirt from a store with no reviews, which are you going to choose? Obviously, you're gonna pick the store with thousands of reviews. So instead of copying others, I used the cross idea formula to come up with a new product idea that no one else was selling. So what I did was after I had found a clever idea that worked with basic clip art, I then started looking at other popular niches that I was interested in, such as animals, to see if anybody had taken this idea and applied it to those niches. And so using this example here, if we take a look at funny parrot t-shirts, guess what? None of the t-shirts on Etsy are using deadpan double entendres. Now, let's think about it. Funny parrot t-shirts are popular with people that own parrots and double entendre t-shirts are also popular too. So guess what we can do? We can cross idea these two things together to create something new. By doing this, I was able to use data to help me create popular hyperviral products that stood out even though I was a brand new store. 
And by the way, if you would like more of my tips and tricks for creating products that stand out and get customers to buy, even if you're a new store, then you should be sure to download my free print on demand ebook, the six steps that six figure online stores follow to make over $10,000 a month. You'll find a link to download my free ebook in the video description below. So then let's actually go ahead and make that new store. And to do that, you're going to need to open up a free Etsy account and a free Printify account. I have a free tutorial video that already shows how to do this step by step, so I won't go in depth into it in this video, but I will link to this in the video description. But honestly, it's pretty simple. In the video description, you'll find a link to open an Etsy store with 40 free item listings. Click on it and follow Etsy's step by step process of filling in your store info, like choosing your name and settings. It takes less than 30 minutes. Then come on over to Printify and sign up for a free account. And within your Printify account, select to connect your Etsy account, and now you can add products directly into it. So then, now we need to actually create our products using basic clip art. And doing this is a two-step process. Firstly, we're going to go ahead and create our cross idea image using clip art, and then we're going to upload that image onto our popular Printify product. So let's get started with step one. And to do this, I'm going to be using Canva. Canva is a drag and drop graphic design app and it's really easy to use. Canva has a crazy amount of pictures installed in it. They have millions of clip art, photos, shapes, backgrounds, textures, you name it, all installed within their library. You're allowed to commercially use these in designs that you create to print onto products for a profit, which is why I chose to use Canva. They have a free account and they have a pro account that costs $13 a month. For this tutorial video, I will be using the pro account. If you don't have a Canva account, I'll have an affiliate link in the video description where you can get a 30 day free trial for a pro account. So first up, let's come into Canva and create a canvas the same size as the printing area of the t-shirt. Then we're gonna come on over to elements and do a search for parrot silhouette pictures. And it turns out that Canva actually has a lot of different clip art pictures for us to choose from. Now, here is something you need to know. Legally, Canva is absolutely fine with you taking their free clip art pictures and then printing them onto products that you sell for a profit. However, you must combine it with at least one other visual element to turn it into a new design. Which is fine because for this cross idea, we're adding text to it too. So I just added in a text box and then selected a trendy font from one of Canva's pre-installed fonts. And so now we need to come up with our double entendre and surprise, surprise, I just used ChatGPT to help me do this. Yes, to help me come up with ideas, I asked ChatGPT what are some funny and annoying things that parrots do to the owners, and one of the things ChatGPT told me was that parrots will sing at the crack of dawn, waking their owners up. So I changed this text to be alarm clock, <laughs> and I changed the text color too. And boom, just like that, we have our t-shirt. So now we need to save it as a print-ready file. When you're printing images onto products, you want to make sure that they're in really high quality. So here are the export settings that I use. I just come over to share and click download. Then I dial the image size all the way up to the max. Then I make the background transparent and I make sure that PNG is selected and I save it. It'll take a few moments, so just be patient. Now for the next step in this video, I'm gonna show you something that's pretty cool, but it is optional but I think you're going to want to try this because as you will see, it will make your t-shirts look amazing. And that is adding a free distress texture to it. So if you go back and take a look at that popular t-shirt design that we found before, and you take a closer look at it, you'll see that the design has a distressed vintage look to it. Well, adding in that distressed vintage look is optional, but it's an easy way that I make my t-shirts look way more professional. So first up, you will need to actually get a distressed texture image. I love this one that you can download here for free on Creative Fabrica if you get a free trial account with them. I'll have an affiliate link to get a free account with them in the description below. Plus, we also want to use Photopea, which is a free Photoshop clone. You can use this for free in your internet browser, so you don't even have to sign up for an account. So add in your product image and place a distressed texture on top of it. Right click the texture layer, click rasterize. Then hide your t-shirt design layer. Next, click select and choose color range. Set it all the way to 200. Then with your t-shirt layer selected, click edit and then select clear. Now you can unhide your t-shirt design and delete the texture layer. And that's it. Your t-shirt design has gone from looking like this to now looking like this. 
which is much better. So next up, you just need to upload it to Printify and add it into your Etsy store. It's pretty simple. Just open up the popular product you're gonna sell with Printify and upload your design onto it and place the image in it where you want it to print. Then next, you will need to give your product a title and you want to give it a product description. And you also need to give your product a price. And here is an important trick. You see, for my new store, my products have a profit margin of anywhere from 30% to 40% depending on the product. And the reason why I make such a good product margin is because I used a profit calculator to help me choose my product price. Printful has a good one. You just enter in the price that you plan to sell your item for and the price that you will charge for shipping and then you set your goal. So for me, that was to make a 30% profit. Then you come down and you enter the price that Printify charges per item and the price that it's going to charge for shipping. And you can then make sure that you're reaching your profit goal even after Etsy's transaction fees. And don't worry, I will have a link to that free profit calculator in the description of this video. So now we just need to let the sales come in. And for me, I make my sales from two different sources. Now, the day is not over yet, but so far the new store has made $370. The biggest source of those sales are just people who are browsing Etsy, searching for products, who see my products and click on them because Etsy recommended them. And if you want Etsy to recommend your products, you're going to have to optimize your listings. I actually have a video on this channel which explains the process. I'll have a link to this video in the description. But here is an example of a pretty good listing. You can see that this mug has made over $200 in the past 24 hours, having 11 sales. It has lots of great keywords in the title, like cat, feline, gift, girlfriend, cottagecore, and very importantly, it has an amazing photo. Having an amazing photo is super important because that is what is going to get customers to actually click on your listing when Etsy recommends it. And you can get amazing photos for print-on-demand products for free on Placeit. You just upload your picture onto one of their photos and it will turn it into a great product photo for you. They have a free account with free photos that you can use and of course I will have a link to them in the description. But the other source I use is Etsy ads. Now, they are, of course, optional, but as you will see, if you do it right, it's basically like printing money. Case in point, I spent $25 today, but I made $142 back. And Etsy ads are pretty simple. If you turn them on, Etsy will just start recommending your products in their search results when people start searching for products similar to yours. So when I first chose to turn on ads, I set my ad budget to just $5, but you can set it to as low as $1 a day. Then what I did was I just slowly let Etsy spend $10 per product on ads. And then after it had spent $10, I checked to see if the ROI was at least three times. So for this one here, the ROI was 4.57, so I kept the ad running. What this means then is that for every $1 that I spend, I make $4.57 back. It's an amazing deal. It's basically like printing free money. But for the products that did not have a return of three or more, I just turned those ads off. And now thanks to that initial investment, I now have a bunch of ads running for products where the return on my money is so high that even after costs, they are still making me passive profit every day. So there we go, challenge complete. And if you'd like to learn how you can quickly design 30 t-shirts in just four hours with Canva, I'll have a link to that video here on screen. I'll see you in the next video.